tror faktisk første gang, tror jeg, at jeg havde følt, at de tekster, han havde skrevet, ikke passede øh, musikken. Because Metallica had a rule that you couldn't talk about anybody else's stuff. So James couldn't really talk about the drums. And Lars couldn't talk about the guitar playing or the vocals or the lyrics or, or anything. Uh, nobody could criticize Kirk's solo. Um, so Lars came to me and said, okay, you have to talk to James about it. That's what's so amazing about James. It's very private, it's very personal. So um, you don't intrude on that space. He, he'll give that to you when he wants. Bob Rock and Lars felt that there was a lot more to this song uh, than just those lyrics. It's like, this song's a little more important. Can we take it to another level? There was always a, a reaction to whatever I said, and it probably wasn't positive, but then he went away and maybe felt challenged and came back. I will just have phrasings, no words, and seven spaces here. Okay, disrupt the perfect family. Oh, that's eight. Well, it still works. We'll make it work. Uh, and then coming up finally again with the, the obvious hook phrase of the, you know, often never, never land. It's just a lot of his, uh, his soul in that. A lot of his personal stuff. And the way he said it was maybe the best. And obviously it connected with a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping one eye open. Same delivery. Sleep with one eye open.